Hey YouTube, in this video now I'm going to show you how to create a password protected folder using Disk Utility. So, you know, you can make a password protected folder using apps and stuff, but this you can just do it straight from Disk Utility, which you're going to get on your Mac anyway. So, I'll show you how to do it. This isn't required into any third party app, so you just go into your utilities, and then you'll see Disk Utility, which usually this app would be used for making stuff like... Um, you know, just like erasing hard drives, formatting hard drives, uh, partitioning, repairing disk utility, stuff like that. But obviously, here now I'll show you how to make a folder. Sorry about the CPU, guys, it is majorly high because for some reason using your eyesight in with screen flow makes it a lot higher. But anyway, so you're gonna click here, guys, on new image. See that? And then it will come up with all this. So you can save as whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it. Um, what should we call it? YouTube test. So you choose where you want to save it. I'll just hit documents. You choose the size of it. It's like a folder. Because it's going to be like a disk image. But I'll show you about it more. But whatever size you want to need. The bigger it is, the longer it'll take. I'm just going to hit 40 megabyte. Um, then in. You leave everything else the same way as except where it says encryption, you put 128 bit encryption, which is the recommended one. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So you just click, hit create, start creating the image, and then it asks you what password you want to have, which is the encryption or whatever you call it. So that'll come up, you choose whatever password you want to have. So I'm just going to put in a random one. And verify it. And good, it says my password's weak. Uh, make sure you untick, remember password in my keychain, make sure you untick that. And you click OK, and then it just creates the image. And then you can close this up, and here you have, guys, a disk image, right? This is your folder. So it's not on your desktop, don't worry. You go into your documents. And then you'll have that thing that you just created, YouTube test. So I'll just, in well, first of all, that folder there, I'll start you from scratch. So you just inject that, you don't have to. And then whenever you want to get this folder up, wherever you want to put it in it, obviously it's a secret or whatever, I don't know. You double click on wherever you name this folder and wherever you put it, type in your password. And then it'll come up. And there it is. So you can drag wherever you want into that, guys. Um, or music or whatever. Just grab a random song and drag it in there. And it'll move to it. You can delete the original file there. And you can create folders inside here and everything. New folder, music. You can move stuff around. Do whatever you want to do. So that's really cool. So then, after you've done that, you just eject the drive when you don't have it up. Okay, it couldn't eject. Right, there you are. Then when you want to open it up, just go back to Finder, go back to where you had it, open it up. Your password. And there you are. And then here you have the song, wherever you want to put in there. So that's it guys, that's all there is to it, and you can have wild password protected things, and if you want to delete it, it's crap. If you want to delete it afterwards, just simple as delete. And then you can just empty it trash. And then I think it, well, it obviously does delete the files. Okay, it's in use at the moment, you have to inject it and stuff first, but yeah, it's as easy as that. So thanks for watching this tutorial guys, and I'll see you soon. Any questions needed, just email me.